see. Dang, y'all see this? I can barely fit. I hate this place. They think that we just hop in the truck, A to B, and you're done. Nah, you deal with some BS like every other job. You too. What's good with y'all folks? Hey, you know it's real because I'm touching this camera before I even touch my toothbrush. No cap. But uh, we got a good video to record today. They put me on their load. I don't really care for this load, but it paid really well. It paid like almost $2.20 a mile. So it paid, you know, pretty decent. I know it could be better before y'all super truckers get on my head. I know it could be better. I might not be talking about nothing, but it's decent. Like, I'm not mad at that load. Anyways, though. I woke up early enough to go and get me a shower at the beginning of my day instead of the end of my day. So that's what we about to do. I didn't already pay for my shower and I went in there and like checked it out and made sure this was like even something I felt like recording. But it looked nice in there. I'm at a really nice loves. Next to me is my boy Lil. <laughs> hey, shout out to my boy Lil. He literally in that truck right there, y'all. I woke up this morning to a text on my phone. This man was talking about, let me show y'all. Bro, hit me up talking about, uh, basically sent me a picture of my own truck. I'm like, what in the world? And I wake up and his truck is right here to the left of me. So hopefully I get to get him in the video before I roll out, y'all. He started his sleeper after I did, so as long as I get back to my truck before uh, my sleeper run up, my 10 hour reset run up, then I know he still gotta be in his truck. We gonna holla at him and say what's up, but yeah, we about to go get a little shower in and I'm gonna try to put on something, you know, some feel good clothes. I've been looking like this, in here getting fat, in here getting ugly. I need to shave and some more stuff, so we're gonna try to take care of a lot of that, if not all of that, today. All right, y'all, we're gonna get our uh, shower stuff to put together. I know y'all probably want a truck tour, but hear me out. I can either give y'all one truck tour and then do an updated truck tour once I got everything kind of how I want it, or I could just give y'all a truck tour right now and let you kind of see how stuff is set up. But I really wanna wait until like I got everything situated just because I want it to, uh, I want it to be like finalized. Like I don't want to just throw something together. You know what I mean? I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Let me see. Is we recording? Yeah. Hopefully everything is in shot. If it's not, y'all just gonna have to forgive me. But we gotta get our shower bag ready. Um, this the bag I usually use. Last time I showered, I forgot to grab my face wash stuff, and I didn't really get to wash my face how I like to do it. I like to have both of these. Got my body wash in there already. Um, I don't know what I want to put on. I don't, I'm not finna put on like no jeans or nothing, but I do want to put on some, you know, some feel good clothes. Hopefully y'all feel me on that. I hope I'm not the only trucker that get tired of, uh, you know, being out here looking dusty. Like, I don't like to forget that, like, I'm human. You know what I mean? And I got t-shirts and stuff up here, but I keep kind of like my nicer shirts that I care about in my closet this a black shirt what shirt is this oh we could just do this shirt it's cool the black shirt paradise yeah with the black pants real simple i wear all black any given day i even wear that when i go home so i always wear two pair of socks i can't be the only one let me turn this tv off so y'all can hear me but i can't be the only one that wear two socks every day i wear two pair of socks every single day no yeah <laughs> um but we got that what am I forgetting? I guess that's everything. I do want a beanie. I'm thinking about taking my hair down. So we might do that as well. I done had these uh, three strands in my head all these days. We're gonna just put on a regular all black uh, ski mask. And yeah, let's get these curtains open up. Get some light going in here. Some natural light. Even though the Peterbilt, y'all, it got way better lighting than my um, Freightliner had. I got my uh, camera batteries up here charging and my GoPro batteries is up here charging. And everything should have full space. I just deleted almost everything off of this camera. This is jiggling and stuff so much, it's getting on my nerves. That camera storage got full battery, full, uh, like a 90% battery and then a, a full memory card. So we should be super straight, y'all. We gonna see though. All right, y'all, so. I know everybody got their own opinions about Prime, but one really cool thing I'll say is with Prime, bro, ooh, he's flying. Go ahead. How you doing? <laughs> but yeah, with Prime, we get free showers at Love's, y'all, at all the Love's locations. Free showers. Like, you literally go on the app, 
and you already a diamond member you just got to reactivate it every month so we got all the fuel discounts in the world then on top of that we get free like zero dollar showers free drinks all kind of stuff like they really do their thing to try to make like the OTR lifestyle as like feasible and manageable as possible like I really have no complaints but yeah y'all we about to go in here hopefully I still got my same shower if I don't I'm gonna do just like I was talking about and use the free shower you know what I forgot I forgot my clipper bag <laughs> we might have to do that in the truck all right y'all so unfortunately they didn't move the door the trash out of the door but we're just gonna get another one real quick customer 32 door shower is ready please proceed to shower four Hopefully this is still a nice one. Oh yeah, we good. This one might be better. Another corner shower? Yes sir. No cap y'all, I know this is like pretty opinionated because everybody got their favorite place. Like my co-driver used to like TAs because they got the, like the back on the toilet seat where you can sit back, but this is a pretty nice shower. To me, like Love's is always gonna have the best showers in my opinion. Like I don't know what y'all favorite is. If you got a different favorite than what I'm talking about, drop your favorite truck stop shower down in the comments. Let me know something. Put put me up on game. If I don't know better, put me up on game so I know better. But to me, Love's got the best showers hands down. But we about to do our thing in here real quick, and then um, I tap back in with you. But anyway, I took longer than I expected, but uh, I ended up doing something different with my hair. So, it took a minute. I don't know though, y'all. Y'all gonna have to drop down in the um, drop down in the comments and let me know if y'all like this type of stuff or if y'all want me to like lifestyle vlogs or do you want it strictly trucking on the road, picking up, dropping, how much I'm getting paid, et cetera, et cetera. Like if I do the lifestyle stuff, it'll be all that and some of this. But if y'all want, I just, you know, Keep it, keep it simple and just give y'all straight trucking content. So let me know, y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know how y'all feeling. And if you ain't already liked the video, make sure you like the video. Go a long ways, bro. That's how I'm able to grow a little bit. I always come in here and check because when I was a rookie, I used to always leave something behind and it was annoying. We're on the way back out of here. Everybody always looking at me crazy. Obviously, because I got this huge camera. I try to take the head mount off so at least they know I'm not recording them. Hold on. Whew. But I talked to Lil. He said that um I talked to Lil. He said that he'd be in the little video real quick. So that should be cool. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, I talked to Lil. He said he would be in the video, so that should be cool. We could go bother him real quick. That's one thing about OTR, like you gonna end up with a bunch of trucking friends, right? trucking friends all over different locations different companies different pay you could really network out here like if you want to if you if this something you want to do with yourself and you want to like really you know do your due diligence as far as putting yourself out there meeting people and etc etc this is a good way to do it i ain't gonna lie to y'all like you meet a lot of people that's out there with like similar mindsets trying to do a lot of the same stuff you trying to do so it just it worked out it worked out for the better but I don't know what y'all think. Should we call this man or should we just knock on his truck? <laughs> Let's see what he's doing. Let's see if he even feel like being bothered. I just texted this man and told him to, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> what going? My dog, what up with you? 
Say what's up to these people, man. Shit, what, what I you want to it. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That probably just made my day. I got to chop it up with my partner. That make it be little stuff like that that just make you feel like human, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Hopefully y'all feel where I'm coming from, but I'm about to make a quick little bowl of cereal. Then I'm going to start my pre-trip and we're going to get on the road. Um, I got about eight hours that I have to have to drive today. So it's a light day, but um, I'm going to try to knock out more than that. Hopefully I could get to my um, 03 today, even though they won't unload me. If I could get there, then I'll be in good shape because then maybe, you know, the earlier you could get unloaded, the better if you knew. That's a free game. The earlier you could get there, the earlier you get unloaded, start your sleeper berth, get your 10 hours out the way, the better. You want to try to have a full clock all the time and you want to just always be like as productive and efficient as you can. That's what my trainer taught me. You want to be as efficient as you can with everything, showering, using the bathroom, anything. You want to try and, you know, just be conscious with your time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a bowl of cereal. I'm going to start my pre trip and we're going to get to it. And yeah, if you ain't already liked the video, I'm going to keep saying it because I know y'all don't be liking it. If you ain't already liked the video, please hit the like button and comment something nice for your boy. Comment a little critique, some criticism or something like that. Just put me up on game with the whole now. All right, what's up, y'all? I didn't shot this intro already, but I forgot to hit record. But um, I was going to record when I got the phone call from them people, but they was taking forever to call me, bro. So, um... I was just going to have to go up there and see kind of what's going on. Like, do they got the wrong number or what? Then I did all that. Then when I um got up in the front seat, they called me. And I ain't had a camera ready. So that's what happened with that. But uh, we about to go and pick up my load. It was supposed to be a quick dropping hook, but they wasn't ready. Um, so I done been waiting on them all this time. Literally all this time. But it's all good. I didn't did all my uh, trip planning and stuff. And I thought I had way less time than I'm gonna actually end up having. So that was nice. That kind of make me not be tripping about them being late. Cause at first I was tripping. Like I didn't miss, I took, made sure I went, took me a good nap. I was like, let me make sure I am ready for, there's no reason why I can't get my full clock in where I'll be able to get this load off where I need it. So. That looks so fun. I don't know if y'all can see way out there, but they got like the four wheelers out there, their bike, and the dog following them. I know they having a good time. One thing I'm noticing about this Pete, y'all, in my lower gears, like I say before I get to like fifth gear, nah, cause it's still doing it right now and I'm in 10th gear. Is it a gear thing or is it a speed thing? So once I get in 11th gear, after I'm going 45 or better, it go away. But in my lower gears, it's this knocking. It's just this annoying knocking sound, y'all. I hate that. Cause it made me feel like, did I miss something in my pre-trip? Like what's going on? I hate that. It drive me, literally drive me crazy. Like, I don't know if y'all can hear it here. I'm gonna slow down so y'all can hear it. Y'all hear that? It's like, did, 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 did. so annoying, but watch when I speed up. Just not realizing that um I can't pull my sun visor down when I'm driving with my phone being mounted where it's mounted. That ain't gonna work. All right, y'all, so they told me uh, what my trailer number was. I'm picking up 200899. I don't know where that could be at. I know I went that way last time and I was dropping my empty, so I'm thinking maybe it's over here. At the same time, ain't no telling. And they're so dysfunctional up here. It's all nasty. That's why I got my real shoes on. I don't know if y'all peep. Uh, I think it might be over there. That's what other people picking up at. Yeah, we're gonna go over there first. We're looking for 200899. If y'all see it on the right side, let me know. <laughs> there you go. Boom. 
I knew it. Needle in a haystack. I be having that intuition. I'm telling you. And it ain't even that muddy over here. So I ain't even mad no more. Because I was mad. It's right there. If y'all see. Uh, it don't look like it's too high. Where I need to go and drop the landing gear a little bit. But we gonna see. I'm really bad at being able to tell when it's gonna be too high. Nah, that should be good. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's good. And that's so annoying. Oh no, nah, we connected, thank God. I did not feel like dealing with that. All right. Y'all see y'all self? How y'all feel like y'all looking today? <laughs> So many new things to learn on a new truck. I had to learn all the new buttons. I got all that down for the most part because I needed it, so I had to learn it. All right. Let's go and see. Dang, y'all see this? I can barely fit. I hate this place. I swear I hate this place. I hope Prime asked me to review them when I leave so I can get them the worst review I got. See if I can go to the big side, yep. We got it now. Uh. Our fuel, about half a tank. Uh, one notch past half a tank. Tan is all the way in the back. Trailer looks like it's in good shape on this side. Tires look good. We all sealed up. Tires look good on that side as well. All right, yeah, we'll run it. We'll take it. We got three freaking stops, y'all. Golly. Three stops. And two of them are little tight stops, so this should be a good one for y'all. I don't know if we'll get it all in the one video, but this should be a good one. 220899. Yeah, we'll take it. All right. Y'all see what they did to my floor? F these people. <laughs> Facts. All right, y'all, we gonna take this chance when ain't nothing better to do. And we gonna go and put the lock on. Um, and I'm gonna get my navigation ready to take me where I'm going. That way when I get in here, I don't have to play with this again. The Qualcomm, it take forever, see? We'll do it when we get back. Oh. I got the heavy duty lock. This a real lock. I lost our first lock when I was team driving. I had to replace it. And bro let me keep it. He let me keep it when we went in and parted ways. Let's go to yard dog. Bro, they were so rude yesterday. I was standing outside in a puddle like that. He drove right through it, y'all. in a puddle like that and he drove straight through that jump it was so it was so much water just sprayed on me and stuff i couldn't believe it i was standing there saying like he ain't gonna do that i'm literally saying that like i'm saying it out loud he ain't gonna do that that did that <laughs> no cap i don't know if i go back in there or what well, let's see. So my gauge in here is leaving right at 34. We're gonna make some good use of the time and see what the one out here is reading. Yeah. All right. 
So I think that's gonna stop around 32 or 31 maybe. Golly. All right. Well, I ain't gonna lie, we gonna slide it that one hole. Before I just be dealing with my tandems all the way in the back for 900 plus miles. Then I gotta back this and all these little tight spaces. So I'm gonna have to back it with my tandems all the way to the back. No, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna need that one pin. Anyway, I'm trying to look for somewhere where I could park and handle my tandems and stuff. But like I was saying, I put the lock on there early. So that was, I had to take the lock back off. Then I forgot my um, license. I didn't know they needed it when I come in and when I come out. That was also annoying. All right, I left everybody enough room to do what they gotta do. I'm on some pretty flat ground. My tractor's reading. Dang. That can't be right. Hopefully y'all can see that. My tractor's reading 42, over 42. That can't be right though. It literally can't be. It's like the needle broke or something. I don't know what that's about, but if that's reading super heavy, hopefully when I go out there and I check this other one, it's reading really light. Cause then I can say, okay, I just wasn't on flight ground earlier, now I am. So I do got more room than I thought to slide my tandems. That's best case scenario though, we gonna see. Never seen it go past 36. That thing went to 42. Yeah, go ahead and stop, please. All right. It's about 31. So I'm gonna slide it a hole. I'm definitely gonna slide it one hole at least. Um, I might as well leave that out because I'm gonna be playing with this for a minute, pause. Yeah, I have to slide it. Cause now this is reading more correct and I'm reading about, dang. What the hell? This is a trailer out of hell. All right, I gotta go get my mallet. None of those went in like they were supposed to. Hey, at least if nothing else, this gave y'all some good content. Y'all gonna have some fun stuff to look at. What should we call this one? Rookie driver, trailer out of hell. How's that? <laughs> Got my mallet. So that we could work on these pins. It still got the tag on there so I could refund it in case it get tight out here. <laughs> All right. I need a metal mallet. That ain't even gonna work. Dang, I do have a hammer. I'll use my hammer. Okay. All right, plan B. Plan B is we let some more, uh, we let the tire pressure build up better. I'm gonna just leave the mallet in there. I mean, not the tire pressure. We let the air pressure build up better. And then um, we try to slide them in. My God. Um, in the meantime, I can get my paperwork ready to submit. This is crazy. Um, National Beef Depart. No, it's not a hazmat low pulp temp. Is Ew, beef hearts, that's disgusting. And it's going to Cisco. So I got a heavy trailer full of cow heart, 
22 pallets. No, I didn't pay for loading. Shipper, fingerprint, no, no. It's on both. We're going to call it pallets. 200899. I forgot to do my trailer inspection. I always remember when I got to enter it in here, I'd be like, dang, my trailer inspection. The next thing is to figure out what we're going to do about my tandems before I call live loaded because they're not going to let me roll like this. Like, okay. It's before the 34 now. So it's less than 34 here and less than 34 back there, but I want one more hole. But I can't slide my tandems as is. Like, I can't slide my tandems how I am right now. So, what should I do? I'm going to drive and try to get in this turning lane because there's nobody, like, there's nowhere for you to go. So nobody will be in this turning lane. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive through to the turning lane after this car goes. All right, he's not going. And then um, I'll be able to let some air pressure build up with my drive up here. I'm riding in the suicide lane, y'all, trying to figure it out. These is real life truck problems. Everybody said they want to be a truck driver. I'm not going to say this is even a bad truck problem because it's really nothing. Like, this is minor. I'm going to figure it out. No problem. It's a little annoying just because I want to be able to roll out, but it ain't really much to it. But, yeah. Need I say, this don't be what people think it is. They think that we just hop in the truck, A to B, and you're done. Nah, you deal with some BS like every other job. And in my case, the BS is my tandems. Um, I'm going to step on my air for a little while, actually. Maybe for a minute. And see if that could boost some of the air pressure. And then hopefully when I pull my tandems, it'll uh, have enough air pressure to pull them pins all the way back. So then I can slide my tandems one hole like I want to. Y'all wish me luck. I hope y'all somewhere with your fingers crossed. If you're watching this right now, comment the emoji with your fingers crossed. And make sure y'all leave a like and a comment on my video, bro. I already don't get a lot of people watching. My bad. I already don't get that many people watching. The few of y'all that mess with me, y'all gotta support, man. Support. Support a little bit if you can. Hit that like button for me. Uh. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, y'all. All right. We're gonna have to roll with it like this. They're both under the weight they have to be. It's just like, man, who wants to drive? Like my my stop where I'm stopping tonight is gonna be a full clock. So I'm gonna basically drive a full clock with my tandems all the way to the back. On my second load, it's already some BS, but we just gonna run it. That's reading about 31 on the back. And then on the front, I'm reading about 32. So we're gonna call live loaded and let them know what's up. Ugh. That smell getting inside my truck. It smell like, cause I got the incense in here, so it smelled good a little bit. But then it smelled like crap too. Hey, this is 741. Got a uh, three stop load. Uh, yeah, it's breaking up, you know, the audio was a trip. Trailer on the truck number again? Sorry, can hear you. It's okay. Um, 741. 641. Sorry, I'm not able to get it because it's breaking up really bad. I'm not sure it's the. Can you, can you hear me a little bit better? It's, it's 741. The conversation is breaking up really bad. I'm not able to understand what, what you're saying. It's, uh, there is a bad connection. Okay, all right. All right, well, he was nice, but that was still annoying. So we're going to try to call back. I can hear him just fine. And I got two bars, so my call should be going through. Welcome to Prime's Reaper Dispatch. If this is regarding a live loading call, please press Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can. Okay, all right. Uh, This is truck number 741. Yep, 200899. Yeah, my sales net. Thank you. You have a good one. Bye bye. You're welcome. You too. Bye bye. 
all right y'all so we gonna take it how it is right now um this is where i'm headed to this is my concern right if you see the next time i'm a, i have a stop technically which is where i'm getting gas at is in 800 miles i can't drive 800 miles at 65 miles an hour so i'm gonna have to deal with my trail my tandems being all the way to the back for forever bro literally all night the good news is whenever i do stop like it's five right now i got a full clock it's six right now so seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four it'll be about four a.m after 4 a.m sometime closer to 5 so a lot of other drivers will be leaving so at least i'll be able to get an easy park where I'm, i can do it no problem with my um tandems being all the way to the back like this but i am annoyed gang i ain't gonna lie like that's irritating all right y'all so the train finally done um my tandems are all the way in the back so i'm gonna need as much room as i can get to make all my turns and do all my stuff. I'll let this guy come on. Car coming. And I'm heavy. So I'm heavy and my tandem's in the back. Like, bro, what? All right, we're going after this second car. We're going to take it. Hopefully he come on. All right. Now let's see what this Pete engine talking about. So the thing about the tandems is definitely legal like i'm not breaking no rules right now i'm in good standing as far as like my weight my gauges and everything it's just the fact that like it's just the fact of who wants to drive with their tandems all the way in the back like everything you do is gonna be slow and sloppy now like when my tandems are towards the front it's just easier on me driving I guess I'll talk to y'all whenever something interesting happens, but it's gonna be a long little ride. I'm gonna go ahead and get my music and stuff going so I can get ready to, you know, do what I do. All right, y'all, so I've been driving for a while now and I just got some bad news. So I'm driving, right? And I look down. It was no warning, no alerts, or none of that. I look down and I got my light is on, bro. I looked down and one of my lights on my dash then came on and I don't know why we 230 miles in to the drive I've been driving for a little while I don't know how long because it's been smooth but I've been driving for a little while and um I don't know I guess whenever I stop next time I stop I'll just uh see if it'll let me kind of see what that's about <laughs> 